But here's, here's this little secret in marketing. Forget about every product other than one. Forget about every product other than one. Develop all your marketing, all your ads, all your user-generated content, all your testimonials, all your sales copy, all your landing pages, everything to sell one product. Go deep, do not go wide. Get one product able to convert to cold traffic, and then you can work on another one. People try to market all their products, and they don't do enough for any one. You must pick one and figure out how to sell that. And this is a mistake that I see business owners continually make. These are the things that you need to sell a product. If you do this, and I've got trainings for each one of these elements on my blog. If you DM me, I can send you. If you do these, and it's not a lot of things, you will have better marketing than basically everyone else out there. Number one, a sales page, a true sales page. Number two, images where the product is being used in its intended environment, not just on white, but in context. Number two, or number three, a sales video. We're going to talk about that in a second. User-generated content a story and some sales copy, top of funnel ads, and a pre-sell article. These are the minimum viable assets that you need. And I can walk through each one. I'm going to go through a couple of the important ones right now. But it's like, if you do these well, and they're not actually that hard to do if you focus on them, you will be, you'll have better and more sophisticated marketing than basically all your competitors. Sales page. This is not just a product page with some bullets on it. I got images, I got customer testimonials, I got sales videos, I got user-generated content, I got little stories about where the product is from, why it was made, what it does. The key that you must communicate in marketing, there is one thing to remember. If you take one thing from this talk, the key that you must communicate is what is the ownership benefit of this product? How will somebody feel what will they get? What will they have? What will they obtain? What will this do for them? And then examples of people that have had that thing happen for them. Listen, at Boom, what's interesting is we don't sell makeup. We sell a philosophy. We sell the idea that if you try on the viewpoint that your life is not declining over time, that you are not worsening just by aging, if you just find yourself right and approve of yourself here and now for who you are, you will have a happier, more, you will look better. Joy is a woman's best cosmetic. Yeah, you need a sales page. Sales videos, people get these wrong. A sales video is not your product and, uh, you know, someone running around with it. A sales video is not an influencer or a customer giving a demonstration of the, vi of the product in use. A sales video, and by the way, my favorite, as I told you, I do simple marketing. Problem, agitation, solution is one of my favorite sales video formulas, and it is what this sales video that I wrote uh, was. Problem, agitation, solution. I have a bunch of sales video formulas. I got a training on that too if you DM me. But basically, a sales video doesn't have to be fancy. I got some money now, so I make mine fancy. But back in the day, it was just a slideshow of images and then a voiceover. Because the idea behind a sales video, there was a statistic, an e-marketer in 2018 that said a product page with a video in the carousel had a 64% um, more likelihood of converting than a product page without one because the people who watch that video are way more likely to buy even though it's only going to be 10 percent of people so problem agitation solution let's let's give an example of it um did you know that the denim that jim is cuffing is destroying the world's oceans problem right there's chemicals and the runoff and it's going into the rivers and the streams it's killing the fish and the frogs it's making its way into the ocean it's killing the algae it is fucked agitation not only is that the case, but the consumption of denim in the West has gone up like 10,000% in the last 30 years. There are so many more denim factories all in these rural areas in these, um, you know, I don't know if third world is any longer, uh, what is it? Third world isn't the right word anymore. Uh, developing countries where they're all fucked up and, you know, uh, yeah. They're, I mean, listen, it's all because of our uh, consumerism, right? Because of capitalism and all that. Okay. So now I'm agitating the problem, right? Solution, we have created a non-toxic denim that doesn't destroy rivers and streams and we have a way to deal with it, so on and so forth, and you go on and you sell your product. That is one of the best ad campaigns of 2020 run by a company called Everlane, which is about a $200 million uh, apparel company, and it was straight up problem, agitation, solution. Interesting thing about these sales videos is I also do what I call closer reminder videos, which are, which are sales videos specific to overcome objections that are not the core objection, 
right? So it's like any buyer objections. And by the way, if you do a post-purchase survey to your consumers and you ask them, what did you consider, you know, why you wouldn't buy? And you can find out what those are. You can read the reviews and find them out. But take a look at this. 60, uh, 20% of people play that video. They watch 60% of it. It's three minutes long. 20% of people are watching a two minute and 40 second video about my product. Those are my buyers. The reason you do videos like this is because the people who watch it are the ones who buy in and you must do the selling. We are million dollar sellers. We got to sell. We have to market. We have to tell stories. Story. Storytelling is the most powerful sales technique that exists. There's a, brand, there's a book out there called like Story Brand about this. Yeah, you, this guy knows. What's your name? Mike? Mike. Oh, I saw you nodding along, man. I'm with you. You're with me. We're together, brother. All right. Yeah, I'm watching you. Uh, all right. Mike, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. More products is better merchandising. So these are just some, some examples of merchandising from a sale. But look, this is the merchand The best merchandising wins. Buy one, get one. Buy one half, get one half off. Site-wide discount. Live shopping discounts. Free gifts with purchase. Limited time bundles. The better you merchandise, and by the way, we do this strategy called sale extension where we'll run a sale and we'll be like, this is it. And then the next day we'll say, hey, guess what? We're back for a day. Do you realize how well that works? It's just human psychology because some people didn't take action and now here's another chance to get it at the deadline and incentive opportunity. So the better you're merchandising, the better you will sell. 